Hi, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the relay station. We bring the news to you. And I just wanted to share a little bit about what I had talked about in the last video. And that was about what I've been using to help keep me healthy and keep my carotid arteries clear since um, about three years ago, I did have a small stroke. And I've talked about that in other videos, so I'm not going to go there with that this time. But I had mentioned what I've been using along with the ketogenic lifestyle. And I think keto has been paramount in helping me not only lower my blood pressure and clear my carotid arteries, but I've not had heart palpitations and at one point i had tachycardia and went to the emergency room because of that um i just wanted to share that there have been several different occurrences i guess you would say with my body maybe within the last five or six years that needed attention and i didn't know what to do um i'm not a overweight person so i always felt like i was healthy although i've had high blood pressure for a long time and I have a family genealogy of strokes in the family. My mom and my grandmother both have had strokes. So I did not really have that on my radar when it happened to me. Although the stroke that I had was, was much milder than either one of theirs. Um, it still was not pleasant, believe me. And I had several months of recuperative time and actually it took several months to figure out what had happened to me because it was mild. And even though I did go to the emergency room as I, I've, again, I've told this story in previous videos, so I won't go into it all now. But last time when I was with you, I talked about sharing about what I've been taking. So I will talk about that now. And I do have some notes in front of me. I did watch a video that two different doctors we're talking about this product and this product is called natto kinase now natto kinase is the product itself it comes from a fermented food that has been very uh well used in japan for years and years and it wasn't until according to the, the doctors in their research that they were talking about it wasn't until 1987 that it was kind of picked up and people understood and realized that it could be something wonderfully um, medicinal for anyone with any type of circulatory issue. Now, I will refer to my notes at times so I don't forget to say anything because I don't want to make this a really long video. It's, it's short and simple. Fermented soy is what natto is. And people in Japan have been eating that for a good while now. And now I've never had it, the food itself, although I did watch a lady that um, has a business in New York City and she makes natto, a very high quality natto, and she sells it. And it looked like she had it in a container. It looked like um, they were black soybeans. They looked like little, um, the little black beans that you would put in chili or whatever, but they were little black beans. And when she put the spoon in the container and stretched it up, it stretched up kind of like mozzarella cheese would and um it's stringy and it's it's a thin stringy um ness <laughs> around the beans but it's fermented soy and she was talking about using um a very high quality non-gmo bean and she makes this really good natto and people eat it but the studies have shown that the people that eat natto hardly ever have any heart attack strokes any cardiovascular disease now according to the doctors and what they were saying that because of the fermentation it actually makes a pro protolinic protolinic enzyme which breaks down protein and it's um that is the the enzyme that is in natto kinase now you can get it in pill form as i was saying so this is one that i have and it is um from puritan's pride and that would be 50 milligrams which is about a half a dose and then i have another brand doctor's best that is a full dose and that would be um the 100 milligrams so the reason I was taking this one and the reason I, I switched over to the Puritan's Pride, I'm not really sure which one would be the better one. 
Um, the doctors that I was watching on this video have their own and I probably will check that one out because they have some other things added to it they, that they put in their own product. But this one had maltodextrin in it and a lot of things that are like powder, like this is a powdery form of the natokinase in a cap caplet thing. And then this one is in a gel tab. So I thought that maybe this one was a little bit better because I didn't really want the maltodextrin. Um, but it's, it, again, it's a little teeny bit. So probably either one is fine. Like I said, I'm going to check out uh, the doctors. It was Dr. Jim and Dr. Janine Fox. And they are a married couple that have this um, uh, medical center or something. I'm not sure where that was. But they talked about how many studies have been done recently and over the last several years because natokinase is considered medicinal, but yet you're not going to have an uh, allopathic doctor prescribe it for you or talk to you about it because I don't think they really even know. I've gone to multiple doctors and I've mentioned, you know, I'm taking natokinase. None of them knew what it was. They did not even want to you know figure that out they just thought oh okay you know here have this pill <laughs> so anyway i just wanted to share a couple things that i wrote down but let me go ahead and just look at my notes um people take natto and they prescribe it both preventatively and for health issues it is called the clot buster even with one dose you can see the breakdown of a clot hello so that is excellent information there is a lot of research out there now and it is safer or as is safer and maybe even more effective than modern clot medications which i've never been on i've never been on a statin i've never been on a blood thinner i've never been on a clot dissolver but apparently natokinase is good for all those things um it will resolve plaque in the arteries and this is what I found was very interesting as well it helps with all it helps with all circulation it normalizes your BP high blood pressure normalizes it now it doesn't bring your blood pressure down too far like a medication might it regulates it it's a food put in pill form your body will know what to do with it which is what I love also it has been found that it could as well help with lipids, um, but it's very good for your cardiovascular system overall. One thing that I thought was extremely interesting is it also helps with the brain. It breaks down the plaque in the brain and could possibly help Alzheimer's. It keeps your blood healthy. And um, at the end of this uh, video, when I was looking at the, the show notes, I actually, actually saw it said it can also degrade the spike protein from the C19. Hello. Again, natokinase has been around and people have been using it or eating it for a long, long time. But now doctors, well, naturopaths, I would say, are discovering or have discovered that this is an awesome way to help their clients their patients and these two doctors dr jim and dr janine have been prescribing it both preventatively and as a um uh, practice to help people that have had heart attacks and strokes i would even they even mentioned how the circulation in your body would would um regulate itself and and become better as far as to people that have um, bad circulation in their legs, they've reported that their legs and their feet feel better just by using natto. So again, I'm not going to draw this out. You can look up natto kinase and for yourself, and I'll link this video. But I just thought, wow, there's finally someone out there actually in a practice that is prescribing this and they've actually developed their own brand i guess you would call it of the natto kinase and they've added a couple other uh, ingredients that also help one thing they said too that would be awesome for anyone to do both preventatively and to fix something is to take vitamin k2 along with the natto 
and we've been hearing a lot about vitamin K2. You take that along with, it helps regulate the calcium in your body. I've been taking that as well for several, several years, Richard. And I both take um, a D3 and K2 um, tablet every day as well. So I think that's all I'm going to say about natokinase. And uh, like I said, I will put the link to their video because they can explain it so much better than I did. But I just wanted you to know, you can go to the Whole Food store and buy this, or you can order it online, or you can go to their website and, and get it. If you have the need for a preventative um, cardiovascular issue, if you have stroke, heart attack, diabetes, any of these things in your family, ancestral line, as I do, I think it would be imperative to at least do some research and at least figure it out. So what I do on this channel is figure something out and introduce it to whoever's listening because I think it's awesome. I think natokinase has had a big part of the reason my carotid arteries are actually clearing. The plaque is going away. Now that's ridiculous to maybe say in front of your doctor, your cardiologist, which I don't have a cardiologist anymore. I'm, I don't need one. My um, surgeon that was keeping keeping track of my carotid arteries released me last spring when the Doppler showed that I just didn't have the plaque there anymore. And I remember hearing a couple other people on some other keto channels talking about relatives that have actually had heart plaque disappear from using the ketogenic diet. Now, if you combine eating a low carb diet and a moderate fat diet along with taking natto, I think that's a wonderful combination. That is my opinion. And I'm giving this video information out just as this is my research. This is my opinion. This is what I'm figuring out for myself. Cause Hey, no doctor was able to tell me what to do as far as preventing more issues in my body. No one. I was given medications. I was offered a statin multiple times when I kept saying I will not take a statin. The research is not there to prove the statins will work. If you take a statin, it will actually remove the cholesterol. Studies show from your brain. We need fat in our brain. We need fat as a fuel. We need the fat in our body. We don't need to Cholesterol is not the menace that it's been made out to be. Sugar, starch, those things, carbohydrates are the skull and crossbones. <laughs> As I said to someone the other day, when you look at your pie and your cake, you should see a little picture of a skull and crossbones on there because it's actually a sugar, refined sugar like we eat it is definitely poisoning this country and you don't have to do much research to figure that out. So anyway, I think I'll end on that note. I don't want to get preachy, <laughs> but when I figure out something, I like to share it with others because why should I hold that to myself? I want other people to, to benefit and remain healthy. Now, I think that's all I'm going to say about that. If you have questions, if you want to talk about that, if you want to put anything down in the comment section, I would love to get a conversation going about this. If you have experience with natokinase, if you had an experience where it's helped you, I would love to see uh, someone, you talk about that down in the comments. I would love for you to like this video, even go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, my channel has to do with my faith, my health journey, and my camping journey, and family, friends, food, recipes, it's a little bit of a mixture, but those are the things that I pretty much focus in on. So as I'm focusing in on today on getting my arteries cleared out, I hope that it has been beneficial to you and you will take what I've just shared with you and maybe do your own research and look into it a little bit. And I hope you're having an awesome day. This is Linda with the Life Station Express, the relay station, and that's the news I have for you today. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.